NHL regular season recap, night 131. Just four games tonight, but we kick it off with a banger between my caps and the Ottawa Senators. I didn't watch this game, and I'm really, really mad I didn't because it looked like a blast to watch. A six-goal first period, Alexei Protis, John Carlson, Drake Batherson, Shane Pinto, Max Pacioretty, and Blake Malenstein all scoring. It's 4-2 caps after one. Kachuk makes it 4-3, just a minute and a half into the second, and then Hendricks Lapierre scores two, one of them 30 seconds later, the other one about eight minutes later, and it's a 6-3 game headed to the third, and there would be, surprisingly, no more goals in the third frame. It's a 6-3 W for Washington. Uh, Anton Forsberg with a rough game in this one. He gives up all four goals in the first period. That's the end of his night. Darcy Kemper only faces 21 shots. He gives up three on those 21, and the Caps only got 20 shots themselves, so two more goals against on the remaining 10 shots they had the rest of the game. Not a great game for the goaltenders in general, but the Caps will take the win, and they're now not all that far out of a playoff spot. They're pretty close there with Jersey. Of course, they both have some ground to make up, but they're just kind of refusing to die, which is frustrating as a Caps fan because I don't think we're going anywhere if we make the playoffs, but the wins are the wins. They make the season exciting. It's a 6-3 win over the Sens in this one. The Islanders visiting Dallas and the Kings of the overtime point once again secure one, but they also secure the victory tonight. Pollock with the only goal in the first, Duchesne, McLean, and Stankoven all scoring in the second. That's, of course, Logan Stankoven's first NHL goal. He was tearing it up in the AHL. It was about time he got the call up here. Uh, we go to OT, no goals in the third and in the overtime. It's Bo Horvat, who's the hero, about three minutes in from Mike Riley and Matt Barzell. Uh, both goalies, of course, had to be pretty solid in this one. Sorokin goes 30 for 32, while Scott Wedgwood goes 25 for 28, a 938 and 893 save percentage, respectively. And now, of course, the Islanders are also right there with New Jersey and Washington, just to give you guys the rundown. The Caps, 57 games played, 63 points. New Jersey, 58 games played with 62 points. The Islanders, identical record there, 58 games and 62 points. The Penguins, right there as well, two points back of both New Jersey and New York with three fewer games played. So still a tight race in the East, despite there being a bit more of a point discrepancy. It's going to be a good one down the stretch here. But for this game, the Islanders get a huge win, 3-2 over Dallas. The LA Kings visiting the Edmonton Oilers in a game that felt like a playoff atmosphere because it's been the matchup that's been the case for the last two seasons between these two teams. Uh, Trevor Moore and Zach Hyman trade goals in the first. It's 1-1 one, one after 1. Laferriere and Dreisaitl trading goals in the second. 2-2 two, two after 2. What a fancy trend we got going on. In the third, though, Evan Bouchard and Ryan Nugent Hopkins break the trend. There's no LA goals in this one, and it's a 4-2 to final for Edmonton. Stuart Skinner was phenomenal tonight. He faces 40 shots, stops 38 of them. This was one of his better games of the season when the pressure was on in a big, big way. Uh, Dave Riddick, not bad either. 27 of 41 and 871 save percentage. He had some big stops too. The numbers don't really do him justice, but in the end, it's Edmonton with the better effort. They get the job done and they now have two points separating them in LA for that final divisional spot in the Pacific. Both of these teams are going to find a way to make the playoffs, I'm pretty sure, but this is definitely a big game to create. Just a little bit of separation, and of course, the head-to-head -head matters. 4-2 Edmonton in this one. In the final game of the night, the Bruins taking on the Seattle Kraken in a game that was surprisingly entertaining. David Poshnok scores two goals in the first two periods, sandwiched by a Jordan Everly goal in between the two. Uh, and then in the third, Vince Dunn and Oliver Bjorkstrand make it 3-2 Kraken before Charlie Coyle ties it with just a few minutes to go. We go all the way to a shootout where Kyler Yamamoto goes first and is the hero. He scores the only goal in this one, and it's a 4-3 shootout win for Seattle, a pretty big win for them. They're not entirely out of the playoff race yet. They definitely have some more ground to make up than some of the teams ahead of them, but a win's a win. They will take it over a very good Boston team. Um, for the goaltending, Philip Grubauer goes 29 for 32 for a 906. He was just slightly better than Linus Allmark, who goes 24 for 27 and 889. Not his best game statistically, but again, both these guys had some pretty big saves both ways here. And that's going to be it for an HL regular season recap. Night 131, a much bigger slate tomorrow night. So I'm going to get some rest and we'll talk to you guys then.